Today, Governor McMaster signed a bill to help protect vulnerable adults against financial exploitation. The bill defines vulnerable adults as those 55 and up. The measure allows financial institutions like banks and credit unions to report suspected exploitation to the Department of Social Services and the Office of the State Attorney General. What this does is this gives the financial institutions, among others, the authority to put a hold on a transaction if they think something is suspicious. Now, to do that and if it, uh, with, without this authority could lead to lawsuits and problems for the institution. But this gives us a way to nip things in the bud. How often have you heard that an elderly person has been talked into removing money, selling something, taking for what is presented as a worthy cause? Well, perhaps we catch the culprit, but we, they don't get the money back, and that's the problem. Well, that bill also states that financial institutions won't face criminal, civil, or administrative liability for declining or delaying transactions as long as they're acting in good faith.